Hello. Right, today we're going to take a look at um, UV value. Um, I'm in the engineering toolbox. I'll leave a link um, in, the in the description below um, because it's got an interesting page on thermal conductivity. It's normally measured in watts per meter Kelvin, which is the same as watts per meter centigrade. Um, and you can convert that to uh, Imperial if you like. But I'm going to work in watts per meter Kelvin uh, for this tutorial. Um, and then you can easily um, convert over. The main issue with uh, UV value is that extremely hard to understand. Um, what you get is, let's look at a typical uh, material. We'll go and find something like um, some kind of insulation of some sort, because it's obviously insulation you're mostly interested in. The in engineering's toolbox has a really good list of lots of different products and their um, U values. Here we go. Uh, expanded form, uh, 0 0.03. Now the general opinion is that the lower the better. But that's not really, um, I mean I've, I've done a search on the internet and the, the, the <laughs> all you can find is, yes, U value is the value of conductivity through a material and the lower the better. So what does that even mean? How do you go? How do you define what 0 0.03 is in in regard to another form of insulation? What would be really useful is to find out um, how much energy you need to heat a building from this temperature to that temperature with this amount of insulation. So th that's what I'll do today. We'll take a look uh, at an example. I'll do my dome as an example. I do know what it um, takes to heat my dome, so we can check the calculations as well. Uh, so I'll show you how to calculate. This page will come in handy. I'll, like I say, I'll link to it in the description um, because you can check a number of different materials. But the the method I'll show you, you'll be able to work out from these figures how how much heat you you need in your building in watts. So if you've got an electric fire of a, of a thousand watts, you'll be able to work out um, the temperature by just knowing what temperature is outside, what temperature you want in the building, what the surface area of the building is, and what the U value is of your building. So we'll crack on and do that now. Okay, here's a cross section of the dome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the U V value of the top floor first. Um, because there's the, the very different construction to the bottom uh, and I'll compare that to what I know about how much heat's required. Now I don't know what heat, heat's required to heat the bottom area because um, in, upstairs I've got a um, 200 watt uh, heating element, electric, and downstairs I've got a fire. So I want to try and calculate, if I can, um, the heat requirement for upstairs, check that against what I know and then I can check the downstairs and work out how much energy I'm getting out of my fire to find out its efficiency. There are five windows up in the top of this dome, but I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to work it out on the insulation thickness that I know. I've got about 200 millimeters, which is about eight inches of insulation over the whole dome. And we'll use the U value of that to calculate how much heat um, is required to heat this upper space. Okay, it's back to the internet again to find out some information about um, polystyrene thermal U values. Thermal conductivity, this is what we're looking for, is uh, 0 0.036. And we know that the board's 15, 50 millimeters. And I know that I've got four times that insulation. The problem is here is that that's wrong. The 0 0.036 is the standard um, measurement for polystyrene, which is a meter thick. If we go back to the engineering toolbox, um, you'll see that the thermal conductivity for polystyrene is 0 0.03. Um, and now it doesn't say anywhere on the site, but that's actually for a one meter thick slab so it's one meter by one meter by one meter and the thermal energy through that 
Uh, nobody tells you that, so what we'll have to do is some calculations to work around that. Uh, 0.03 is the watts per square meter through a meter thick lump of polystyrene. So I know I've got 200 mil, so it's um, a fifth of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that. 0.03 multiply by 5 equals that. So this is the, uh, we're getting uh, one, 0.15 watts per square meter will travel through a 200 millimeter slab of polystyrene, which is pretty efficient, you would think. But that's for one degree difference in temperature. Uh, what we need to do next is two things really. One, work out the difference, the average and difference in temperature. Or, for example, a, a day, typically in winter, you're looking at about 20 degrees difference from outside to inside. So let's do it on 20 degrees. So we multiply that by 20. That equals this. Now we need 3 watts per square meter. Uh, this is our square meter wattage through. A 200 millimeter thick polystyrene. Uh, so all you need then is the surface area of your building. I know that the surface area of the upper part of the dome is 70 square meters. So we multiply that by 70, and that comes out at about 210 watts. So I would need an electric heater of about 210 watts to heat the inside of the dome to. 20 degrees above outside temperature and I can actually confirm that's right because I have a 200 watt heater here and that's what it, it does it um, it will heat uh, 20 degrees about outside you, you've got to be a bit careful because obviously there's a couple of windows and um, but that's ballpark figure about right okay if we take a look at the dome a picture of the dome here we'll see that the ground floor which is what I'm going to do next has a lot of glass in it. That's why I'm doing them separately. Upstairs is pretty much all the same material. Now the the, the ground floor has a surface area of a, a wall surface area of um, 42 square meters and of that 42 meters 16 square meters are glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it out for each uh, we know what the polystyrene is so all I have to do now is work out um, what the uh, UV value is of a double glazed unit because these are all double glazed units and see what the heat loss we're getting downstairs. Okay I got this off the web um, it, it's you've got to be a bit careful because there's so many different uh, variables uh, and lots of websites say different things but let's I'm gonna go with this one which is the, the second from the top four millimeters clear 16 air gap and four millimeters clear which gives us a U value of 2.8. Right, let's see if I can hold this in memory. Uh, 2.8 watts per square meter. Uh, we know that there is uh, a 20 degree difference in temperature. So we have times 20 equals 56 and we multiply that by the, the square meter surface area times uh, I said six I do believe 16 was about right equals so we've got 896 watts we know that the um, you've got the watts per square meter through 200 mil thick polystyrene is 3 watts about uh, so all we need is the square meter ridge because um, we did the 20 degrees before uh, and the square meterage is uh, total square meters is 42 um, so we take off the glass and that's 26 so we do 3 times 26 uh, 78 that's a massive difference the um, glass is taken 896 watts and the um, standard insulation is 78 watts is a huge difference that just shows how dreadfully inefficient glass is okay I've put all the calculations into a diagram so you can better see what we're talking about if there's an outside temperature of minus 2 degrees C and an internal temperature of 22 degrees C upstairs 
takes about 200 watts to maintain that temperature and downstairs would take about 974 watts. Now I haven't made, this is real ballpark stuff, I haven't included the flows, uh, I haven't included thermal mass calculations or a, a whole range of other calculations. All I've done is the very absolute basic calculations which I'll probably give most people um, a ballpark figure of what you're aiming for and how much, what your heat requirements are and what sort of heating system you're going to need to put in place. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. Um, if you've got any questions uh, or you're not sure about anything, just write a comment in the box below and I'll try my best to answer. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.